preposition describes a relationship between other words and a sentence. In itself, a word like in or after is rather meaningless and hard to define in mere words. For instance, when you do try to define a preposition, like in or between or on, you invariably use your hands to show how something is situated in relationship to something else. Prepositions are nearly always combined with other words in structures called prepositional phrases. Prepositional phrases can be made up of a million different words, but they tend to be built the same. A preposition followed by a determiner and an adjective or two, followed by a pronoun or noun, called the object of the preposition. This whole phrase, in turn, takes on a modifying role, acting as an adjective or an adverb, locating something in time and space, modifying a noun, or telling when, or where, or under what conditions something happened. If you're too stupid to understand what I said, here's how prepositions work. You can sit before the desk or in front of the desk. The professor can sit on the desk when he's being informal or behind the desk and then his feet are under the desk or beneath the desk. He can stand beside the desk, meaning next to the desk, before the desk, between the desk and you, or even on the desk if he's really as strange as the demo man in Swicka drinking at Tom's Ale House and signing the Declaration of Independence. If he's clumsy, he can bump into the desk or try to walk through the desk and stuff would fall off the desk. Passing his hands over the desk or resting his elbows upon the desk, he often looks across the desk and speaks of the desk or concerning the desk as if there were nothing else like the desk. Because he thinks of nothing except the desk, sometimes you wonder about the desk, what's in the desk, what he paid for the desk, and if he could live without the desk. All of this happens, of course, in time, during the class, before the class, until the class, throughout the class, after the class, etc. I think he loves the desk so much, maybe he should marry it. If you made a sentence that ends with a preposition, you will need to have your brain and kidneys switched around. Also applies if you're going to face against armed platoons of police empty-handed, but this rule doesn't need to count in several cases, as repairing a sentence that ends with a preposition might make it sound even worse. Do you get me? Of course you might not. There are prepositions of time and prepositions of place. Preposition of time refers to time. We use at to designate specific times. We use on to designate days and dates. We use then for non-specific times during a day, a month, a season, or a year. She likes to jog in the morning. Remove the preposition and it will sound like she likes to jog the morning which sounds weird. For prepositions of place, we use at for specific addresses. We use on to designate names of streets, avenues, etc. And we use in for the names of land.